here with Max Seabold at the 2010 U.S. Lacrosse National Convention. And uh, Max, a lot of buzz around here about this new Max XL company. Um, tell us a little bit about it and how, how you got hooked up with them. Uh, it's a pretty cool little uh, training tool. Uh, it's used for actually uh, all stick sports, swing sports, tennis, bat, uh, baseball, hockey. I mean, anything you could you could strap this uh, tool onto. And it's basically a training tool, uh, very functional. You throw it onto a stick and train with it. Instead of you know heading out to the weight room and doing wrist curls and stuff like that, strengthen the fingers, the grip, the forearm. Uh, it's a, a pretty cool tool that you could use when you're practicing on the field, whether it be you know for face-off guys, for shooters, for defensemen, goalies, anything. I mean. The game of lacrosse, a lot of it depends, you know, on, on that, that that strength and ability to control that stick. So that that uh, is a pretty cool training tool that that I, I think is pretty effective, especially at the youth level. Uh, it's pretty unique how I, I got involved with it. Um, actually, right after the fastest shot competition uh, with the, uh, during the All Star game, uh, the man who, who came up with the product uh, kind of he contacted me uh, online. And, Facebook actually, and you know, started my interest in it, and, and told me about the product, and, and you know, said he would really like to help me beat Ramble next year in the Fast and Shot contest. So it's a, uh, so right then on, I was like, all right, we, I think we can work something out here. It's going to be a great trip. I, I know we all have one goal, obviously, at the end of the day, to bring home that gold. And, uh, we're going to we're going to head out there. I know, you know, I'm excited to play with guys like Paul and Strebel and Zash. And, you know, we got a very talented midfield, uh, and you know, I'm happy to be a part of it. It's, it's an awesome opportunity. But one thing that's unique about all of us is, you know, we go out there and we work hard. We may not be the fanciest stick skill, you know, guys, but when we go out there, you know, that competitive nature comes out in all of us. And, you know, we don't like to get beat on anything. And, and you know, with us in practice, that's you know, we have that competitive nature that you know brings the most out of each other. And then, you know, at the same time, it's also a very unselfish group. And that's you know, one reason that. You know, I think we're going to be successful. Is, you know, there are some guys that that aren't on this team that that may have better skills, but I think Coach did a great job at, at picking uh, a great team, and, and I'm really fo looking forward to, to going out there and bringing back the goal. What are your thoughts for Cornell in 2010? Uh, a lot of people saying they're going to have a hell of a time replacing you, John Glenn, Rocco Romero on that first midfield line, uh, but always Cornell reloads. So yeah. what are your predictions? You know, they have a system there. It's not about talent. It's about our work. It's about, you know, going out there and focusing on little details. And, you know, the, the program wasn't built on, you know, bringing in top recruits. And every year when I was a freshman, we lost guys like Joe Belucas and how are we going to replace, you know, the midfielder of the year. And then, the, then we made it to the Final Four and we lost uh, a, a nine-person senior class, best goalie in the country and the best defenseman in the country. And we lost our whole attack and two out of the six of our Midi, so I mean, how are we going to replace them? And it's a matter of going in and, and focusing on those little details. And, I, and our coaches have a system that works, and you know, if everyone buys into that system uh, and works hard, I, I think you know, success is hard to avoid. And, and those coaches are, are great. Coach Ambrosi and Luke Andrejales are great at maximizing potential, and, and they, they hate to see waste of talent, and they're going to get the most out of you. And I think that's why the, 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 you know, the program has been so successful. And, you know, I have no doubt that could be successful at the end of the There you have it from Max Ebold. Looking for big things from the Big Red in 2010. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Max.